Talking of parenthood, is it okay to ask couples when they'll be having children? Radio 1 DJ Greg James has told people to stop asking if he and wife Bella will have children. He wrote this week, we might have kids, we might not, we not, might not be able to. Whatever happens, it will have absolutely no bearing on your life whatsoever, so please don't worry about it. Good for him. Um, and it's weird because I read that and I kind of get it. I used to get asked lots about it and it, it is that sort of thing. A lot of people mean well. It's just a question that you kind of throw out there. But a lot of times people don't really fully understand maybe the reason behind why you haven't. And even when you do tell people, you say, I just don't, I'm just not quite ready now or for what, they sometimes just don't believe you. It's almost like, well, there must be, there must be something, something wrong with really you. Really wrong if you, children, if you yeah. And so did your mum very... say, when are you going to have babies? No, do you know, my mum actually was never like that at all. My mum mm -hmm. and dad were always very, whatever will be, will be. It's entirely your life. It was never, ever a thing, but I would get asked by complete strangers. <laughs> oh, complete mm -hmm. strangers would say, it's about time you had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay then. Um. <laughs> but you do, you feel, you feel the pressure. However, Denise, would you feel comfortable having that conversation with your children? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm very sensitive about asking other, other people, yeah. even if I am curious, because like all of us, we've all got several people in our lives who would love to have children and can't. At the same time, I think I used to be, well, I know I used to be, one of those people who used to not understand people who chose not to have children. Mm. And I used to think, oh, it's just because they can't or whatever they... But now, I see my friends who don't have children who made that choice living their best life. <laughs> because when you have children, and I wouldn't swap mine for the world, I'd die for them. But it's the fact that as they get older, you kind of think that a lot of the problems and the worries are going to go away. They get worse. Yeah. You're only as happy as your unhappiest child. You want to take all their pain away from every breakup. And my childless friends don't have any of that emotional commitment. So I understand it. But I do, you know, if Matty's had a steady girlfriend, I do like to ask if she will be somebody that would want to have a family because I watch a lot of rubbish reality television, but one of the through strains on it is the amount of people on these shows like 90 Day Fiance and all of these things that I love to watch, is that they get married without really securing the conversation of children. And it's fundamental, mm. you know, and if somebody says, I don't want children, they're probably not going to change their mind, but the amount of people who marry thinking they will and then disappointed that they're not. So I think it's it's definitely fundamental to a relationship that you ask. But you're dead right. It must be really annoying to, to be I have a couple of friends, just on what you were saying, Hattie Denise, and they had a great... It was a second marriage for both of them, and they had a great conversation about whether they wanted children or not. And both, fortunately, didn't want children. And so they've gone on to live their life. With me, I started having children with 21. So nobody had time to sort of say, when are you going to yeah. have children, yeah. you know? <laughs> And, you know, in, in Italy, a woman who's 81 has had twins, and now people are saying to me... 81? 81? When, when are you going to have one? Like the Italian woman. Well, what do you think? What do you think, Glo? Uh, I think not. Really? Uh, no, 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 I think not. But she did. She had twins at 81. Oh, my I thought God, you would have heard no that, because you're one for a good bit of gossip. Oh, yeah. 81! <laughs> no. Oh? <laughs> to look into that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything worse. No. Can no, you imagine? No. I mean, I've never been maternal anyway, and it's not because I'm gay that I didn't want children. There's a lot of uh, same-sex couples mm. who one or the other always I'm wanted sure. children, and they just felt that they can't, so they go for the same as heterosexual couples, go for the IVF um, or surrogacy. surrogacy or anything like that. But I never... I've got ten nieces and nephews, and I'm quite happy when they leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they come in, I love them to bits, you know, but I can say bye. You know, yeah. my brothers and sisters have the whole oh, stroppy teenager thing, you know, the twin thing oh, where work. they speak weird and all of that. And yeah. Speak weird? Twins. <laughs> <laughs> no, the twins, they have it at their own language. I'm just like, I don't get you. <laughs> but no, I've just, you know, I've, I've not personally been maternal, so I do think even, it doesn't matter whether you're gay or you're not, you're straight. 
You don't have to have children. And no, there are no. some people that frown on people that don't. Some they do, but you can have a very fulfilled life without. People be just wanting a career. You yeah. might have had troubles when you were younger and mm. for some reason it's just put you off of having children or that process. But you see, it. I think having yeah. children is absolutely the best thing I've ever done. Mm. And if I could live my life again, I would have more. Yeah. If yeah. somebody said to me, do you have regret? I don't really have many regrets. But I would have regretted by that. I would definitely have more if I could. Yeah. yeah. They're wonderful. Well, and you're only 81, you get... Gloria. Well, <laughs> that, yeah. Listen, if you see me, if you send me trundling onto this program with a pram one day, you know, <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> uh, we, we asked you at home, should we stop asking couples about having children? And 92% uh, of you said, yes, we should stop. And that's just... I agree. It's just being sensitive yeah. to yeah, people because you never know what's going on That's within true. a couple and what's going on behind closed doors.